Police have begun investigations into the cause of oil spill on the Kagamuga Airport runway. National Airport Corporation has since put out a notice informing the public that the airport is closed until an assessment is done to see the full extent of the damage caused. The oil spill, which is reported to have been done between 8 and 10 p.m. last night, is suspicious and is allegedly done by locals in protest over the appointment of the Mount Hagen election returning officer. While police have begun investigations, NAC Managing Director Rex Kiponge said perpetrators will be dealt with under the Civil Aviation Act. NAC's service is vital. We provide vital services to our people. And this is the last thing NAC expects. And New Guinea CEO Bruce Alabasta and PNGA acting CEO Stanley Stevens said that traveling public will bear the impact of the airport closure, especially the people of Western Highlands and the entire Highlands region. The people who are affected by your actions are the people of Mount Hagen. The businessmen in Mount Hagen who give you jobs. The policemen in Mount Hagen who look after your security. It's the community and the people around that use Hagen to transit in and out. You know, currently for Mendy, uh, Tari, Wapenamanda, all this. And safety is paramount for us. Uh, and what's happened now has affected uh, the Highlands community crew that uses Hagen. Mr. Kiponge further announced that the two security companies providing security services at Kagamuga Airport are suspended pending investigations. Let me inform those perpetrators who access our air site to do charter thing at this time. You are users of the service that we provide. Let me remind you, you are users of the services of the vital services that we provide. You have no right to start issuing threats. You have no right to start accessing our restricted areas to do charter thing. Jumaima Sukba, TV1 News. Thanks for watching TV1 News. Please like and subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay up to date with the latest news.